what did you think? Welcome that was a to my lot channel. Don't forget to subscribe, in, like, like to share. A huge thanks Enjoy to all my the players video. who participated in the open beta test back in March. We were extremely pleased to have so many participants. Plus, you gave us a lot of invaluable feedback. We can't thank you enough. While only portions of the Dino Survival content were made available for the open beta test, today we'll be introducing more content included in the full game. Let's take a look at what you can expect when Exoprimal launches on July 14th. Let's start with the story. Ace, the game's protagonist, is transported to the year 2040 and forced to participate in a never-ending series of war games. The story unfolds as you play through Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Gathering intel to update the analysis map unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds and the AI entity known as Leviathan. At times, players will also engage in special boss battles as part of the main story. Dino Survival Mode will also change as the story progresses. You'll unlock new missions with a variety of objectives, including 10-player co-op, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. The game will also feature an assortment of unlockables and challenges. Modules can be used to enhance exosuits and modify active skills. These modules can be obtained by fulfilling certain conditions while you play the game. You can also personalize your appearance with a variety of cosmetics, such as exosuit skins, weapon skins, decals, and emotes. The game also features a special five-player mission that changes weekly. Compete with squads from around the world for the fastest completion times, or by earning awards through achievements, like most damage block with a tank suit in battle. There are many ways to enjoy the game, even after completing the main story. We took your feedback into consideration as well. In the full version of Exoprimal, we plan to implement a mode where victory is determined by completing missions as quickly as possible, instead of direct combat with other players. We hope you look forward to that. Now, let's go over all the new info we just saw in the video. Who was that new face at the beginning? Meet Dr. Signs, the developer of the exosuits, and the head of Anchor Division, IBS's elite research group based on Bikitoa Island. The Stratovator, a space elevator that extends from the Anchor Division research facility into orbit, will also be a playable map. Incredible battles will unfold while exofighters and dinosaurs clash atop this massive space elevator. Players will even encounter dangerous mutations of dinosaurs, known as Neosaurs, the most deadly among them being the Neo T-Rex. You'll need to work together with your team to stand a chance at taking them down. Oh no, is that a swarm of Neo T-Rexes? What are Leviathan's true intentions? Wait, what's the deal with this new exosuit? While it may look similar to Deadeye, this exosuit is a variant called Deadeye Alpha Burst Fight. Unlike the default Deadeye, this variant comes equipped with a weapon that can burst fire or be used as a shotgun, allowing exofighters to change their style of play. Exosuit variants, including Deadeye Alpha, will be added in a title update following the full version's release. At the end of the video, we revealed Savage Gauntlet, a mode that lets you take on special five-player missions that change weekly. In this mode, players can enjoy a change of pace from Dino Survival by competing against exofighters from all over the world for the fastest completion time. More info about exosuit variants and Savage Gauntlet will be revealed at the Xbox Games Showcase Extended. Be sure to tune in. And last but not least, we're excited to announce that we'll be holding a second open beta test. This time, we're including additional story-related missions, 10-player co-op missions, and other adjustments based on everyone's feedback. Check out the official website for dates and times. We hope you're all excited to try out this new content. 
Players will also receive a new reward for participating. Don't miss out. We'll continue to make adjustments to Exo Primal, leading up to the game's launch on July 14th. Thank you again for all the feedback. We look forward to seeing you in the second open beta test. That's all we have for you today. See you in the war games. It's going to be a ton of fun.